Hello, welcome back to Cracking Cryptic. Um, I'm going to do the Times crossword from Friday. Um, I'm going to live solve it now. Uh, I'm not going to rush, so I'll, I'll talk it through. This should be suitable for um, relatively inexperienced um, solvers, and hopefully you get something out of it. So let's go. Blue shed on hill. Blue, whenever I see blue in a crossword clue, cryptic crossword clue, I'm always thinking of the word down because down forms so part of so many phrases. Um, so, down something, could that be relevant? Not seeing how. Let's try the short one, two down. County in short, that's declared. Hmm, what do you declare? Three letters. County. Whew, I'm not sure. Let's carry on. Uh, perhaps we should look at one down first. Such extremely penetrating new fluid is what bowl contains. Well, I'm helped a bit here by the fact I still want one across to begin with D from down. So such extremely, that looks like the extreme, i.e. the outer letters of the word such. So that gives us an S and an H. And then penetrating, so we need to put our S and H inside new fluid. What does that mean? Well, I think it's an anagram of the word fluid. So new there is telling us to anagram fluid, put it around the letters SH, and we're going to get what a bowl contains. Well, have a think if you need to. Pause the video. The answer is dishful. So down does look good here. Let's go back to two down, imagining this was a W. County in short, that's declared. You declare war, and I think that must be Warwickshire, uh, is uh, the short version of the county. Not, not an easy clue, actually. Only easy once you think that there is a W there. So, ten across, a long one. Car maintenance business, it doesn't make much. Car maintenance business. Service industry. I think that is the answer. I think it's a sort of cryptic definition there. It doesn't make much. Service industries obviously provide services rather than manufacturing. And a car maintenance business, well, a service industry would be an, a cryptic allusion to you know, doing your car services. So I think that is the answer we're looking for. Trash rough sketch after fuss. Hmm. Fiddlesticks? No. Rough sketch. A rough sketch could be a what? A thumbnail? Um, ooh, not sure. 15 across. Invitation to copy talks without constraint. Uh, invitation to copy. Something like look see or something talks without constraint. Mm. I'm gonna have to get more letters. Let's try this short short one. Deal with old shirts piled up. Deal with that sounds like C2 or something like that. So let's put that in and see if we can work out why. Well now I can see why. So Old is often abbreviated to O, as we've seen before, and then shirts are T's, T W E S, um, as in a T shirt. Well, the way the T shirt there is sometimes spelt is with T W E. So, again, not terribly easy clue actually, but we've managed to fathom it out. So, let's put down in here. So, blue shed on hill. Um, still. Cooked sliced ham. Well immediately here, just so you know, I'm thinking this is going to involve an anagram of sliced ham because it, it just, the word cooked is so indicative of an anagram. And indeed, cook, cooked sliced ham about right, well it looks very, um, very much like we need to put the sliced ham around an R for right. And we're going to get a December festival. Okay. 
looks like it's Mike Mickle Tide or something like that. I actually know we've got an eye in the wrong place. Uh, uh, it's going to be downcast, isn't it? If you shed something, you cast it. <laughs> Interestingly, I've totally misunderstood the clue as well. So, in fact, hill here was down, believe it or not. So we had to put down next to a word for shed to get cut. Uh, which is cast, and downcast is blue, which is the definition. So I was totally misled by the fact that blue can also mean down on its own. Um, tricky. So sliced ham, what's this? The December festival is going to be... Uh, not sure. Five across. Stores spoken of somewhere in southwest London. Let's try and get a letter. I think that'll be very doable. That's definitely going to be a homophone of some sort. So, row away from river to get fit. Wow. Okay, so, it's not, again, it's not an easy clue, this, because Set has been clever in that he's used a word in the clue that when you read it in the normal sense, if we read this as a sentence, we read it exactly how I just did, i.e. row away from river, because that seems to be the surface sense of the word row. But actually, we can read row as row, and if we read it as row away from river, then I think what Set is asking us to do is to think of a five-letter word for a row, remove the river, remove the r from that word, and then we're going to get a word which which is a, a word that means fit. And obviously that could mean fit as in healthy or it could mean fit as in to sort of have a fit, an epileptic fit. And the answer here is ague, which is argue without its R. So not an easy clue. What vanilla has, very close, what vanilla has. I think this seems to be hinting that there's going to be some uh, property of the word vanilla that we need to... Yes, okay, there is. So uh, the word vanilla, if we look at it carefully, it contains a few interesting properties, but one of them is that it contains the word nil. And nil is a synonym for nothing. So vanilla has nothing in it has the word nil in it and if something's very close if a horse race is very close there's nothing in it um, so that's what the definition is there lovely clue pen on table for writer of elegance hmm. okay yeah so one here we need a short synonym for the word pen and we're going to put that on a short synonym for the word table and the whole thing will be a writer of elegance. Um, I'm not sure there's an easier way into this than, I mean, the way I got it was I could come up with a short synonym for the word pen here. And it's pen as in pig pen. And a pig pen is a sty. And once you have this as a starter for this answer, it's not too bad. So stylist and table here is in a, a list rather than as a, in a piece of furniture. Let's go back to this one. Stores spoken of somewhere in southwest London. Uh, Barnes, of course. Right, okay. So it's a homophone for um, barns without the E, as in what you might see on a farm. And Barnes is obviously a place in southwest London. So Italian tenor losing line in musical. Ah oh dear. Uh, uh. Okay, I think this is going to be Gigi, because that's certainly the name of a musical. And I have a feeling that Gigli was the name of an Italian tenor. Well, we can check that at the end, but I'm fairly confident that's going to be the answer. Small seals close to shore showing cunning. Okay, 
a lovely clue this because if we read it again small seals close to shore showing cunning it seems to be referring to the mammal the seal that's swimming close to the shore and you know it's doing something clever but obviously seal has another meaning as well you can seal something in so if we can think of a six letter word which means small then that could seal it could surround the closing letter to the word sure so that would be an e so can we think of something that would fit the whole thing's going to mean cunning slight Oops. as in a sleight of hand very nice clue very good misdirection america's masculine representation okay well that's uncle sam fairly obviously let's see why one for export actually going to be at the right it's an anagram of masculine without the, without an I and I think that gives us the letters for Uncle Sam so it's, it's quite a clever clue in the sense that you could almost read the definition here as America's masculine representation whereas I think technically we need to read this as America uh, or America's as the definition and then Uncle Sam obviously refers to America um, but if you like this masculine representation here it was almost it was certainly very helpful to me in immediately getting the answer an agreement earlier in the day to back religious figure hmm. uh, not seeing that one at the moment let's try try 12 down Sweet white wines, no great shakes. Hmm. Uh, not sure. It's a very interesting surface. No great shakes. Obviously, that can be an expression, but the way I read that as a cryptic reading is I'm trying to put in an anagram of no great into the answer. But the seven letters that would use up means I need to come up with a four letter word which would mean white wines or wines. And that, mm, I'm not seeing what that is. So I think we'll come back to it. So look at 18 down. This would be very helpful. Give us four starting letters. Needing evening out, or as another clue, we can read two ways. It could be needing evening out. Stopped around mid afternoon. <laughs> yeah, okay. So mid-afternoon, I'm thinking that could be the letter N. So if we can come up with a word, a six-letter word that means stopped, that we can put around an N, we might get at something that means needing evening out. Like lumpy or... Um, stopped, halted, ceased. Not sure. German playwright has British cast to be authentic. Well, Bertolt Brecht was a German playwright, and if we remove BR from that, we get ECT, which is one of those funny words which means real or authentic. Very, very uh, piece of crossword ease, frankly. I don't see it very often in day to day life. Um, meeting not for reorganizing plant well again this is not slightly easier in the sense that I think it's clear what the clue is doing so reorganizing we should always be thinking what can I anagram here I need 10 letters well meeting not looks like it's the right 10 letters so we need to come up with a plant we can make from that and I'm probably not going to come up with it immediately with out many letters in the grid. Strike 20 down. One changes finale in Debussy, peace but not the opening.
again here the fight finale in Debussy is screaming the letter Y at me but I can't see what the rest of the clue is doing measure of land is four more than one nope see out of practice this week let's try and get this other long one only a little time at the top for this officer okay so this is a another sort of punny clue if uh, you only have a little time at the top you would only have a second as in the time the unit of time the second you would only have a second in command and obviously a second in command is actually a type of officer so that might be useful let's see right needing evening out oh goodness me I got the wrong letter in afternoon I think I said N was the middle letter but if I if I realize that the middle letter of afternoon is R it becomes quite easy because I thought it ceased before and if something's creased it needs evening out that was me being daft uh, bolts used for front parts of cars Sure, see if we can get 24 down. Competitive, the last to move up. One of two that could be capped. Nope, not seeing that one. Sweet white wine. No great shakes. <laughs> Lovely clue. Okay, so sweet is in a pudding. You would describe your pudding as being your afters. And then white wines are hocks. And then we can, so put those together, we get aftershocks, which are no great shakes. A dock replacing terminal with large screen. Invitation to copy talks without constraint. Let's rip. Let's to copy. Let's slip. Let's. Let's fly. See if we can get 16 down. Listeners commonly getting the shakes in small cup. <sighs> wow, don't know that one either. This is tricky today. Recessing cliffside road corner half obscured. Corner half obscured, I'm thinking that would give me the COR, which would be the. could go at the end here. So, but recess in cliffside, or even the name of a cliffside road that was only two letters long, is not. that's not jumping out at me. Let's try and see if 28 across gives us a hint. Maybe Cupid's period of influence, precious, we say. Top players aim playing with England. Okay, well that's going to be an anagram of aim and England. And that's it. so it's going to be leading man.
Oh, Madonna, it could be a religious figure. So an agreement earlier in the day. So here we've got an, nod, and am all being reversed. You can see the an in the clue. An agreement is a nod. Earlier in the day is am as opposed to pm. Um, we're reversing the whole thing. We get Madonna being the religious figure, not the pop star. Um, right, so we can... Still can't quite see what the uh, plant is at uh, 22 across. One changes, sounds like an amender or something like that. Finale and Debussy piece, but not the opening. La Mer. A finale. A finale is an end. So if we put end. In a Debussy piece, and I think there is a Debussy piece. Ah, no, well, there is a Debussy piece called La Mer. Um, so, La Mer, which settles the spelling of a Mendor. Um, so, we put that, put end in La Mer without its beginning, and we get a Mender, which is one who changes. Very tricky clue. Measure of land is for more than one. I keep thinking of acre here, but obviously acre is more letters than we need. Is for more than one. Measure. Hectare. Ah, okay, no, there is a, an old word for a measure of land is R, A-R-E. And if you were to change the uh, conjugation of is, so he is, um, they are would be the equivalent. Um, so the equivalent of is in the plural sense is are, and that gives us the answer that we need. Very difficult. Right, so maybe Cupid's period of influence Precious, we say. Well, precious could be dear at the end, couldn't it? Maybe Cupid. Period of influence would be a rain. So Cupid was a reindeer. Ah. Oh. Goodness me, what a great clue. Totally misled me. So we got we've got here we've got a homophone for the words rain, R-E-I-G-N, and deer, D-E-A-R. If we say those together, rain and deer, we get reindeer. And one of Santa's reindeer was called Cupid. Wow. So recess in Cliffside Road, corner half obscured. Whew. A recess could be a niche, couldn't it? So why is that the answer? Corniche. Oh, there is a word corniche, C-O-R-N-I-C-H-E, which is a cliffside road, believe it or not. And if we remove half of the word corner from the word corniche, we get the word niche, which is the answer we need. Very difficult. Now here I'm thinking this is going to end in that any double T E that would seem possible at least. So meeting not for reorganizing. So what letters are we left with that we need to place? Uh, an M and a G, I think. Plant. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong about my assumption here. Maybe I have to get some more letters, I think. Bolts used for front parts of cars.
dashes. Your dashboard is the front part of the car, I suppose. Um, and you might just, have to just refer to that as a dash in a shortened form. Um, so this is actually a double definition. Uh, if you bolt, you dash, and you've got your dashboard there as well. So tricky. Competitive, the last to move up. One of two that could be capped. A knee could be capped. So. Competitive. So if you're competitive, you're keen. And if we, ink, or if we raise the last letter of the word keen, we, would get, we can put it as the second letter and create the word knee. And that's how that one works. So, getting there slowly. Trash rough sketch after fuss. Trash. Whew, why can't I see what that is? I should be able to. And here we've got our anagram of sliced ham. Um, Simba Festival. I need to get one of these soon. Dock replacing terminal with large screen. Listeners commonly getting the shakes in small cup. What on earth is that? I cannot actually write the anagrams down, which is always annoying. Only think, the only thing I can think that could fit here is mignonette, if that is a word. Um, I think we'll have to go with it, because I can't think of another organisation of these letters that would seem likely. It's certainly not a plant I'm, I'm familiar with. Okay, so let's have a look at this one. It could end in mass as a Christmas. The mass is that one thing? Got the right letters in it. That fits the letter pattern. It's not a word I know. Does it fit with this then? Trash rough sketch after fuss. A doodle would be a rough sketch. Fuss could be a flap. Trash. If something's flap doodle, is it trash? Wow. I mean, this is brutal. Chilled a mass crossing with flap doodle. Ooh. And so let's rip now looks good here. Invitation to copy talks without constraint. In invitation. Could just be the word let's perhaps. To copy.
I suppose if you copy in, the sense, in a computing sense, I think you can rip DVDs, can't you? So maybe that's the way it's been used. So it's invitation is the word let's. To copy is to rip. And then talks without constraint, let's rip. Very hard. Listeners commonly getting shakes in small cup. Uh, okay. This is going to be some funny word like panicking. I think that is a So if it is this, which I think is a word for a small cup, how does this work? Listeners commonly getting the shakes. Panicking. Oh, oh my goodness, yeah, it's a homophone for panicking. Obviously spelled completely different to this. Um, yeah, this is very tricky. So we're left with what looks like curtain. Let's put it in and see if we can see why. Uh, curtain, okay. So dock, which could be cut or curtail. Yeah, okay. So curtail replacing its final its terminal letter, its last letter, with an uh, oh god no, it's the other way around in fact this is very very awkward because Replacing terminal with large seems to indicate we need to put an L into this answer. Which I don't want to do. Because obviously I think what the clue is getting at is that there is a relationship between the word curtain, curtain, and the word curtail, uh, as in to dock. Um, and that relationship, obviously, is that we can replace the last letter. But how can we make this clue work, assuming panicking is right? And I like panicking because it does sound like panicking. Um, not easy to see, because doc is to curtail. Replacing its terminal letter with L. We, no, replacing... So I'm not sure this clue works, does it? Screen. Uh, I'm going to submit this, but I'm, we're going to come back and have a think about that clue because I don't understand it. I think it's possibly an error. I think what we actually need to do is to replace the L with an N, which is not what the clue is telling us to do. Let's see if we... Yeah, we have got it right. And that's no. I think that's no mean feat today. There's a lot of tricky stuff in here. Mignonette, Childermas, Flap Doodle, Panikin are all uh, difficult words. Um, and yeah, Curtail Curtain. Let's have a think about that. Okay, I've had a look uh, further now at this clue of 18 across. Um, I just think it's an error. Um, what, of course, we need to do is to have some instruction to replace the L at the end of curtail with an N. And I just don't see how this clue is telling you to do that. So that's really, really vicious because that is crossing this panicking answer. So if you, if you read the clue differently, this 18 across, um, you know, I think I think there's just about a legitimate reading of it where you say take the words a word for screen, which would be curtain, and replace its terminal letter with an L, which would give you curtail, and that does mean dock. So I think you can just about read the clue as giving curtail, which would give you an L here in 16 down. You're then trying to work out how on earth this clue works with the with the panicking thing going on. You'd never ever solve it. So, absolutely, uh, yeah, vicious um, and perhaps a very rare occasion where you see an error in a Times crossword. Um, that's uh, uh, once in a blue moon occasion. So, 
Um, don't get disheartened if this is the first crossword you've looked at and you, you come to this video and think, my goodness, there's a lot of uh, difficult stuff. Yes, today there was a lot of difficult stuff. Um, 20 down, just as even I'm looking at it here with a mender. That's not easy. A bit of crossword ease with Brecht. I mean, you needed to know quite a lot of you know, actual general knowledge to solve this crossword. Uh, you know, if you were an American coming at it, Barnes would probably not have meant anything to you. Um, you know, Santa's reindeer there at 28 across. Um, lots, lots of interesting stuff. I suspect that's why it's in on a Friday because it is, uh, it is a fairly brutal crossword, and we tend to see the Friday puzzles over recent months being the hardest of the week. Um, if you did solve it, congrats. Uh, I think that, you know, any solve in any amount of time of this puzzle, you've got some skills. Um, so, anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll be back again soon with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.